Hey, Sal, what a great here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Demons Find YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about crowdfunding, Kickstarter, etc. And today I wanna to answer a question, which is what the heck is a Kickstarter game? And also how does Kickstarter work when it comes to games? And we're talking about that in just a second. Okay, so let's get into this. You've maybe heard of Kickstarter or you've heard of games. You're kind of wondering like, what the heck is a Kickstarter game? So there's sort of two sides of the coin here. So there's a creator side and there's the person who's playing games. So let's start with the creator side and then we'll talk about for those out there that are gamers who've never heard of a Kickstarter game, what the heck is that? So first of all, this is a way for creators to get a game out there to the public. Now, traditionally, it would be very difficult to get a board game published, a tabletop game published, to get a video game published. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of funding, it takes a lot of different processes and stages in order to eventually get a game out there and to connect with a community of people, right? Your players, your player community. So Kickstarter came along, right? And this is basically a crowdfunding website or a crowdfunding platform. And what it does is that it enables creators in order to raise money directly from their fans to help with the creation of that game. And the belief is that, hey, you know, if a creator can actually go out there and can get enough people interested in this and get this thing funded, then they can move forward with this particular project. So a lot of creators are people who have ideas, they're people who can execute as well on those ideas. They've maybe created a prototype of some kind of the game or gotten to a, a certain point, but now they need other people's help to really get it to that next gap, to that next, to move past that gap and to bridge the gap and to get into that next phase. And rather than going to like, you know, a larger publisher or to going to someone and partnering with someone else, they would rather work directly with the fans to deliver something that the fans love and that they think are great, right? So this is really the purpose of Kickstarter, which is to help those creators get games funded, therefore bringing new games into the world. And after that campaign is funded, a Kickstarter campaign for a game, video game, board game, tabletop, anything like that, right? Or like a comic book, I guess, you know, which is kind of maybe based on a game or something like that. Then they deliver on that and they create, they finish the game, they deliver that, maybe give you access or deliver the actual tabletop game directly to your doorstep. You can then play it, you get early access and a lot of different perks and items that are related to that. So that kind of answers for, first of all, you know, from the creator perspective, why do you use Kickstarter? How does it work to a tiny degree? Again, it is a campaign that you're running and you need to set a certain goal that you're trying to get to in order to move forward with this particular project. Now, as a backer, so there are creators, right? And there are backers. And backers are the people that are the players, the people that are owning games. A lot of times backers who want to support many different games on the Kickstarter platform. In addition, they might be creators themselves and they admire the design skills, the gameplay, they admire the actual creator in some way, what they've been doing in the past, maybe their illustrious history when it comes to different games they published in the past. And because of that, they wanna be a part of this new thing that they're making. In the same way that if you have musicians, you have people that attend their concerts, right? If you have a stand-up comedian, you have people that love to go to that comedian's different venues and even the early material that they are working Working. So as a gamer, not only are you getting the access to own a new game, but you're also supporting the creation of that game. And you're getting access to exclusive perks and rewards, things that are not gonna be available publicly when this game actually is launched and in different retail outlets or that you can purchase online or on Steam or like all these different types of venues. So you're getting an exclusive access to this, as well as updates when it comes to the creator, kind of becoming, I mean, it's kind of, kind of rewarding to support the creation of something new. You get obviously those bragging rights, you're part of this tight-knit community, you get access and news related to that game, and maybe even some inputs or decisions that you get to make that affect that end game in some way. So we call this process, when it comes to crowdfunding and Kickstarter, we call it co-creation. So rather than in the old days, you'd have to create the product yourself, bring it out, and eventually people could purchase that, right? You're not really participating in the creation of the product, you're more so buying it at the end of the day and supporting the business, which is then gonna produce more and more games. Instead, it's a little bit earlier in that process where you're actually supporting the creation of the actual game. So this is why I call it co-creation, where artists, designers, creative types, inventors, um, people who are coming out with new gameplay or new um, artwork or their publishers as well who maybe have partnered with someone who actually came up with the gameplay, they are working directly with the fans, with the fan base. And you know, IP rights, that's something that's a different topic we want to cover in this video. But by bringing these two groups together, we're able to bring cool new stuff into the world 
and it is so freaking exciting. Want to take all the stress out of fulfilling your Kickstarter rewards? Fulfillrate is the turnkey solution that puts product delivery on autopilot. The top campaigns use this trusted high-tech provider to store, package, and ship their products. Focus on growing your business. Leave shipping to the experts. Don't wait. Get a custom quote from Fulfillrate today. Link in the description. So first of all, you should take away from this video that this is something that is an insider community. This is something that you are participating in the creation of new stuff into the world. You're gonna be the first to own these different things if you are a backer or if you're a creator, this is really gonna help you get this out there to the masses, get you to connect with a huge base, a huge audience of people that are going to be able to support your creations as well in the future. But finally, this is all about reputation. This is all about branding. This is all about you know creating a big media firestorm so that people can be, you know, you can grow the player community for a new game so that creators can have more esteem and more accolades in this actual industry. And obviously they're going to be obligated or they're going to be incentivized to deliver on these different perks and these different rewards. So that when they launch other crowdfunding campaigns, other Kickstarter campaigns, they're going to be funded by those same people that love supporting their favorite artists and their favorite game designers in that way. If this is something that you're interested in learning more about as a creator, first of all, go and check out some of my content down below. When it comes to my YouTube channel, come subscribe. In addition, I got a great book out there called the Kickstarter Launch Formula, which shares with you exactly how to get a campaign funded. I also put out the Crowdfunding Demystified podcast, a lot of great one-on-one -on -one interviews with game creators, people who have done six and seven figure Kickstarter campaigns. Really cool. And I really want to honestly, it's not rocket science. They'll tell you exactly what you got to do in order to get a campaign funded. If you're a backer and you want to discover more interesting projects, I urge you just go and check out Kickstarter, right? Go and lurk through some of the different projects, become a supporter, become a super backer. Just go and start to you know learn a little bit about this because I guarantee you it's going to be so cool when you can play games that have not yet reached the masses, that have not yet reached the public. And it's kind of just like an insider's club in that way. Um, also got some great things. My newsletter, you can go and check that out. Sometimes we'll talk about new campaigns and that kind of stuff down below. I'll link that up, crowdcrux.com slash newsletter. But finally, I've been thinking about doing something, man. I've been thinking about interviewing more backers on my podcast. So you should definitely go to my website. If you love to play games and you've been you know, sampling different products and stuff like that, and you kind of want to provide some of your thoughts on what really the types of games that you like to play in sort of a fun format and stuff, go and check out my website, crowdcrux.com, and shoot me an email because I might be considering a couple of people to have on the show in kind of a group format and just go through what do we like about games? What do we like about different playing mechanisms, right? What are some of the things that get us excited when it comes to Kickstarter, games, crowdfunding, et cetera? And we can have that whole discussion. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Salvador Brigman. Hope you took some value out of this video and I will see you next time.